Hello everyone, my name is Jack Lane. I'm the 2011 president of the London and St. Thomas Association of Realtors, LSTAR as we call it. We're one of Canada's 15th largest real estate organizations. We have over 1,500 realtor members serving Middlesex and Elgin counties, a trading area of over half a million people. The first quarter of 2011 has just wrapped up, so I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you what's happened in our marketplace for the first three months of this year. But first, a little background. As you can see, the first decade of the 21st century was a good one for real estate in our area, with more ups than downs. In fact, 2007 was our best year ever. And then came the global financial meltdown in the fall of 2008, followed by what some have called the Great Recession. But even then, we did pretty well. 2008 turned out to be the fourth best year on record, although most of those sales took place before the recession hit. A downturn followed. From early 2009 to October of that year, the market's performance was tepid. Then beginning in October of 2009, the market began to rally. And we had some pretty good months, October 2009 through to May 2010, before the numbers softened again. Even with that bit of softening, we managed to pull ahead of the previous year. That brought us in line to where we were in 2002 and 2003, which were both very good years for real estate in our market. Now we can't avoid a drag in our economy when our largest trading partner, the United States, finds itself in trouble. However, we can be grateful that we've come through a tough time relatively unscathed. So what about the first quarter of this year? How did real estate perform? Year-to-date sales for the first quarter were slightly down overall. The story told by the graph is pretty straightforward. Sales for the first quarter peaked at their second highest level in 2007. Took a hit in 2008, nosedived in the first quarter of 2009, rebounded strongly in 2010, and are moderate so far this year. Moreover, there's been an increase in the sales month over month in 2011, with January posting 428 units sold, February 552, and March came in strong at 809. This is due in large part to seasonal factors, but the fact that sales each month are on par with early years points towards a market in recovery. Now if sales are on track, what about product or listings? As you can see, we had a seller's market during the first half of the decade, and buyers had to compete for relatively few properties. Then beginning in 2005, we began to see gradual movements towards a more balanced market. Then the recession happened, and we took a bit of a hit. Then the market recovered, and now we're back in the zone. And that's a good thing. A balanced market is good for sellers because there's plenty of buyers to go around, and it's good for buyers because they have a wide range of listings to choose from. And it's also good for our local economy, which benefits greatly from a robust housing market. The interplay between supply and demand is one way to determine a market's health. Another is the average house price. The average house price is calculated based on the total dollar volume of all properties sold. What you want to see in this regard is moderate increases over time. Remember that real estate is an investment. It's not a lottery ticket. What realtors don't like to see are dramatic fluctuations in value over a short period of time. Too big an increase and you might be looking at a housing bubble. And the problem with bubbles is that they tend to burst. And the last thing that we want to see is our client saddled with an underwater mortgage. A sharp decline in the average house price is not good either. And fortunately, our market shows no signs of either a housing bubble or deflation. Every year over the past decade, including the downturn, we've seen a gradual increase in the average house price. Moreover, Although the average price may appear to have increased significantly year over year, their increase one month to the next has been more modest. These more modest increases more accurately reflect the level and pace of actual appreciation. The average price for a detached home in our market at the end of the first quarter was $241,263, while the average price of a condo was $175,579. 
for an overall average of just under $230,000. The London CMA continues to be affordable when compared to other centers across the country. Now here we have the Canadian Real Estate Association's latest major market survey published in February of 2011. Now please note that the average price for London was that for February in order to compare apples to apples. Of course, realtors don't just sell houses and commercial properties. We sell homes and the places of work to make life in those homes possible and worth living. Here at LSTAR, in fact, in real estate associations across Canada, we subscribe to what we call our quality of life philosophy. One of the principles of that philosophy is that a community's quality of life is predicated on a vibrant economy. A good economy creates jobs, expands the tax base, and revitalizes communities. And that's why we're so proud of the contribution real estate sales make to the London CMA. Now let me quantify that contribution. According to a recent study prepared for the Canadian Real Estate Association by Altus Group Economic Consultants of Toronto, a total of $46,400 in ancillary expenditure is generated by the average housing transaction in Canada over a period of three years from the date of purchase. That means that sales from the first quarter of 2011 will generate nearly 83 million in economic vitality in our region over the next few years. That in addition to the dollar volume generated by real estate sales in our area over the same period, which stands at over $450 million. So to sum it up, the first quarter of the new decade shows us back on track. Sales volume have been respectable. The market has stayed balanced, which is good news for both buyers and sellers. We've seen modest but real price increases over time. The fundamentals of our local economy here in London remain strong, leading us to expect solid performance from our sector in 2011. For more information on real estate in London and the surrounding area, please check our website at www dot lstar dot ca and from our 1500 realtor members I'd like to wish you all the best as our spring market gets off to a great start thank you for listening have a great day